Perhaps you've heard the expression, the devil is in the details. Typically that means that if you look down in the details of the situation, you will find some kind of evil plot there. In today's episode, I want to tell you that the devil just might be in the details, but God is in the direction. This is Bishop Lippman Live and Relevant Word. Hello and welcome back to Bishop Littman Live and the Relevant Word broadcast. I'm so excited to welcome you here. If this is your first time with us, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel. We're so excited to welcome those of you who join us each and every day that we post. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, whether you're listening to the podcast or watching us on YouTube or even Facebook. We love sharing with you. And today's teaching, I want to talk to you about the fact that the devil might just be in the details of your situation, but God is in the direction of your situation. In the first chapter of the Old Testament book of Job is an amazing story about a man who is rich, well thought of by both people and God. In fact, he ends up going through the worst of circumstances in his life, all because God thinks so highly of him that he literally recommends him to the devil. You see, God and his angels are having a meeting in chapter one of Job, and the devil shows up at the meeting as well. And don't ever get it twisted, he still shows up in all sorts of places, even among the people of God. Well, as the narrative goes, God asks Satan a question. Where have you been and what are you up to? Satan re responds to God by saying, I've been walking to and fro in the earth. In other words, he was looking for somebody to mess with, somebody to tempt, somebody to test. And rather than God rebuking him or sending him away from his presence, he makes a recommendation, a sovereign recommendation. Have you considered my servant Job? There's none like him. He fears God, he avoids evil, and on and on God goes. Satan re replies to God by saying, Yes, yeah, sure, any man that you'll bless, he'll be faithful to you. But if you take away those creature comforts, that crib, that cash, those kids in that Cadillac, he'll curse you to your face. God takes Satan up on this offer because he knew Job would be faithful to him, and he knew more importantly that his hand would never leave Job. Therefore, Satan would never actually have full access to Job's life or Job's spirit. Now, that's a good place to shout wherever you may be watching or listening to me right now, that no matter the attack of the enemy on your life, God never relinquishes his hold on your life, and therefore you are never without the hand of God to protect you and shield you from anything and everything that can happen in your life. And isn't that good news for a time like this that we're going through right now? Well, when you read the book of Job, you'll discover quickly that Job had no actual idea of good or evil. He only knew God. Consequently, every chance he got, he either worshiped God or blamed God. He has no knowledge of this conversation that has taken place about him. He has no knowledge of the presence or existence of Satan, which is why many scholars believe that Job is actually the first book to have been written of all of the books of the Bible, because there's no mention on behalf of the main character, Job, about the existence or any knowledge of Satan. But here's what we need to understand about this book, and here's what we need to understand about our everyday life is that even when you're going through difficult, challenging, taxing, exhausting, and unbelievable times like we live in right now, yeah, it's true. Somewhere down in there, the devil might just be in the details. But don't live your life focusing on evil, the evil one, sinister motives, what the devil is doing, what demons are doing. In other words, you can either focus on the, the demonization of your life, or you can focus on the deliverer of your life. Here's what I'm trying to say in simpler terms. Yes, there may be some evil sinister plot 
behind the bad things or bad experiences that you're going through in your life. But don't focus on that. Focus on the deliverer who is able to lift you out of any and every circumstance. So yes, people may be talking about you. They may be scandalizing you. They may be mistreating you. They may be two-faced. They may be smiling in your face and, and behind your back, they have a dagger ready to stab you in your back. Some people don't even wait for you to turn your back. They just go on and stab you in your face. But listen, the devil might be in the details and he might not, but here's what is an assurance. God is in the deliverance. God is in the direction and God is in the details. So even when Satan is in the details of your life, even when there's a sinister plot against you, even when there are attacks and even when people deliberately and intentionally do things to upset you that know would get you off course spiritually, don't focus on that. Be like Job. Turn a deaf ear to the demonization of everything and everybody. Turn your full attention to the one who's able to deliver you when you don't even know what you're going through. That's good news today. The devil might be in the details, but God is in the direction. Because even in the story of Job, nothing could happen except God permitted it and allowed it. And every step that took place, everything Job lost, Satan had to get permission from God in order to access that area of Job's life. Everything that you're going through in your life right now, think it not strange, my friend. Satan has to get permission to have access every time he wants to approach you. And God will never give him carte blanche, a blank check, but God will always give him limited access because the devil is on a short chain and God knows how to yank his chain and pull him back into order in your life. So the devil might be in details, but God is in the directive, in the direction and in the deliverance. I wanna pray with you. Father, thank you so much for my friend who is watching, who is listening right now. Father, they may be going through a trying time, a time of tribulation, a time of anxiety, a time of angst, a time of pain, a time of not understanding. Be their deliverance, be their God. And Father, I pray right now that you would move on their behalf. Be the God who is in the details in spite of the devil's activity at work in their lives. And you're God and we praise you and we bless you. Forgive us of our sins and transgressions and help us to keep our eyes on you. As your word declares, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I love you. I love sharing these times of teaching and meditation with you. Do me a favor, make sure you're sharing this with others. I want people from all over the United States and even the world to come in and be a part of what God is doing through Relevant Word and Bishop Littman Live. If you need prayer, I'd love to pray with you and pray for you. Simply send me a prayer request right now to prayerwithbishop at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to study the Word of God and be a part of my e-class, join us right now. It's not too late. You're right on time. Simply send an email to clearstudies at gmail.com. Again, that's clearstudies at gmail.com. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. I'm praying for you. And listen, the devil may be in the details, but God is in the deliverance. God bless you.